Hey guys, Clint Hardy. Um, it is the day after Christmas, and we have a chopper bearing out. So, I went to uh, our local case dealer, got a new bearing, new flanges, and we're going to put the new one in. This is on the left side. So there's the back of the machine. I got Dad. He's in his truck right now. He's reading a newspaper. So, I'm going to see if I can tear into this thing. Show you guys a little bit along the way. So we got to take off these three quarter inch nuts, take off this uh, sensor that's right there that runs to that line that goes up to the combine cab, and there's a little magnetic um, magnetic magnet on a hose clamp that goes on the outside of the shaft. All right, if I can show you right there. Sorry, I had to use it with my other hand. So we're going to take this flange off, that sensor, and drop this uh, bearing out. I almost have the race completely out, so I did that last night. It's eight through the bottom half of it, so it should be pretty easy to come out. So I'm in the back of the combine. I'm trying to wedge this chopper bar up. I got dad on the outside he's helping me and we got to get this this is the side of the bearing that's out you can tell if I can get my light on there so we're prying the middle of this up to get the weight off the, inner, the outside and then we can hopefully replace that bearing I had to uh, rotate that 4x4 90 degrees and slide that wedge block up in there so it was being supported by the pan. So we got the middle of the shaft up there in the, where the bearing's supposed to be so we're going to pop this flange off next and pop out the race in the retaining part right here. This is the retaining bearing retainer. I don't know what you want to call it. This is dad by the way for those of you I haven't seen them yet. Um, we're going to pop these bolts out. Hopefully we don't have to replace them, but if we do, we'll have to pop off this entire panel. There's three bolts per side on all four sides. That should completely come out. But we got the weight suspended up on the middle of the pan, and the, this here is supporting that pan, so... We'll have to figure out something else. All right, update to where we've got. Um, I may not have bought the right bearing. The two flange side. We got the old flange off. The old retaining uh, deal. And we just have the inner part of the bearing. We have thrown shirts on the inside because we're going to rosebud that. Or maybe burn it. See what happens. Alright guys, I uh, wanted to give you an update to the video. Um, we got the bearing completely out. Um, you do probably hear water running out and down here on the ground. Because we had to burn. We tried to heat up that outside bearing first. The rosebud. And that didn't work. So we ended up having to cut the inner part of the bearing out. Um with the oxacetylene torch and saw some smoking and that little bitty hole in there that goes inside of the drum it's still smoking just a hair but we filled it up with water so I'm, i don't know what could possibly be smoking in there but uh just to uh just to lessen the risk of a fire we did that plus you can still see water running out right up there. Uh, we, we soaked these shirts down, soaked everything down. I opened the doors over here for the uh, clean grain elevator and the return. Um, but yeah, we soaked it all down pretty good just to, just to lessen the risk of having a fire because that's kind of a big deal. So um this is the bearing that was on there 
we thought we had the bearing i thought i had ordered the bearing to replace this but it was the wrong kind this is a rubber seal or gasket that goes the bearing goes on the inside of this and then you have this retaining retaining pin whatever the crap you call it and this is part of the outside part of the bearing i thought it was a race but i was wrong that is actually part of the outside bearing so uh, i had to order the parts already called uh, the case dealership heartland ag they're really pretty doggone good to work with down in harrisonville they have multiple locations uh john down there um he is one of the uh better sales reps that i've had the privilege to work with for quite a while between uh john deere the john deere dealership um you know for me it's all about service uh and even the uh, new holland dealer that we bought that we bought the uh, uh, T4100 from. Um, they had a good service rep guy down there. Uh, they still have a young kid, Ryan. He's good, but uh, they just, I don't think they've got all their all their uh, P's and Q's together. So it's a beautiful day. We got about a half inch of rain last night. So that's why we're taking time to uh, work on equipment and a couple other things we're going to be doing will be replacing these lights so um that light there that shines down on here my little gauge last night when i was running is there's mud in this arm down here that turns if i can get a picture of it there's a little round bar right there and that if I can focus there we go oh maybe nope out of focus let me try to do something there it is uh, that runs that so that tells me how much flex I had in my flex head so that light sucks it's getting replaced I am hopefully going to be putting a couple lights back here on the back probably in this general area on this side and on this side pointing down at the ground so i can see my tailings coming out of the back and those don't have to be the greatest lights but uh i'm going to be replacing that light up there because i cannot see crap they're just they're not very good so um i'll be posting a second video about uh, the updates as well as the um uh finishing up on this bearing because it is raining right now that's going to knock us out of the field for a few days and it's supposed to get cold um so we'll be back to picking probably by Saturday, maybe Sunday. But got to get this bearing fixed first. All right, guys, uh, please like, please subscribe to my video, and watch for the uh, Case IH 1660 chopper bearing replacement second video. All right, guys, hope you're all having a good one. Hope you're all having better weather than me because this is just crappy. Alright guys, have a good one.